Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, NomNomNom069, returning with another SDL tutorial. And today we will be optimizing our images when we load them. So currently when we load an image, it will be something along the line of um, SDL surface image e equals SDL load BMP and then we'll just call our file. So right now it's test.bmp if I remember correctly and actually it's test.png note we have test.jpg we're gonna f um, edit this um, edit hopefully it doesn't open up paint.net which it will I just did yeah okay so I'm just gonna save this as a bitmap real quick because we don't have um, file save as um, test.bitmap test.bmp because right now what happens is um, I don't have SDL images included, so we can't load the JPEG or the PNG file. We need a bitmap. So we right now we'd uh, SDL surface load image, SDL bitmap, um, uh, SDL load bitmap test.bmp, and we'll come down here and SDL blip blip surface um, image. No, um, it was it image? Yes, it was image. Image comma null screen comma null just to get the image up there build our solution and we come here and run it there's our image our bitmap image being drawn up in the upper right hand corner but this is slower than we want it to be it can be faster because currently when we load our images um, every time they're being drawn on the screen it's not the same uh, it's not the same uh, video surface as the screen is what happens is every time SDL has to blit this image surface to the screen down here in our drawing what happens is it converts the image to the screens format from its current format so what we have to do is we have to modify our loading a bit and what this requires is two SDL surfaces SDL surface loaded image and SDL surface surface image okay now loaded image will equal SDL load BMP test dot BMP now what happens is we load up our image into this temporary SDL surface and what's gonna happen is we're gonna optimize our loaded image with us a quick call to another SDL function and that SDL function is a uh, SDL display format and that display format returns an, an optimized SDL surface which makes splitting faster so it'll render faster if that makes sense so image will equal SDL display display format format if I can uh, spell correctly and we're gonna pass the loaded image as a parameter and so what happens is the SDL display format like I said takes this low loaded image optimizes it sets it to the same format as our screen and puts it on image so now image down here when we blit it is now an optimized version of, version of this image but we have one more problem we need to take care of before we are completely done with this we need to we need a three loaded image because we aren't using it it's it's an image that it isn't optimized and we don't want to need it use it so we just simply call that by SDL3 surface and our loaded image and at the end of the program, we should also free our uh, free our um, regular image, the one that we uh, created up there. So that way, when we exit the program, this is removed from the memory. And this is also SDL surface removes like an image from um, the memory since it's a pointer. The SDL free surface then removes it from memory, memory, so it's not being stored anymore. So if we build a solution, there will be no visible changes to the program but if you're rendering a large number of sprites in the old unoptimized format it's actually slower and it takes more time because it has to convert it to the screen format so if you're making a lot of games uh, a lot of uh, blitting a lot of images in your game you're gonna want to do this um, so thanks for watching guys this is a quick little tutorial um, remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later